guys I want to welcome you back to the channel so lately I've been um, having videos with me uh, not talking as much uh, did you know I actually suffer from uh, seasonal allergies so that's why my voice is a little bit hoarse uh, at this time of the year I cough quite a bit um, and with everything going on nobody wants to be around somebody that's coughing a lot so went to the doctor and actually uh, got a prescription for for my cough so uh, no COVID here um, so as you can see lately um, my lawn's starting to brown up and um, we've had a pretty good spring lately our winter was not that uh, cold at all so I think that uh, was one of the reasons why I think um, our spring transition was fairly good. I'm gonna take you back to the lawn. So real quick, I'm gonna give you a 360 uh, view of what my lawn is like. Uh, so you can kind of see where, uh, there's another spot there, uh, as you can see, um, right around there. Um, that's where the uh, ryegrass is actually checking out. Have an orange tree there. And I got my Calamandan um, citruses over there. Let me see if I can pan in real quick. Uh, they're kind of like lime. Oftentimes we put them in our dish or you can actually um, squeeze them and make awesome drinks. It's another Lantana. It's a purple and white one. This is I think this is either Dallas red or I don't think it's radiation. Radiation's more got the yellow in there. It's the uh, purple one. And then this is the radiation. Uh, so during the summer months, this bush will actually bloom profusely I'm gonna show you how tall they are I'm 5'7 so that's how big they really are all right so what you guys are seeing right now is the uh, Bermuda grass and the perennial rye grass kind of playing pretty well nice with each other and um, I'm gonna pick up a rye grass here and you can tell the difference between this is your perennial ryegrass. I don't know if you could see that. And then here is the Bermuda grass. Oh, hold on. There you go. You can tell it's very medium bladed. Here's the uh, stalks. So our goal is right now actually is to bring down the high to cut so we can reduce this uh, stalk size. I don't know if you can see that. So right now what you guys are looking at is uh, that area uh, where it was quite brown. And if I can zoom in here you'll actually see the Bermuda grass coming up from underneath the uh, rye grass. So my goal is to actually thin this canopy. Uh, you can either take a dethatching rake. I'm actually gonna try to use the uh, Sun Joe, the one with the blades in there to actually kind of rip the rye grass out. See, and uh, we are also gonna start uh, fertilizing the whole entire uh, lawn to where we can actually push the Bermuda through the ryegrass and get it converted. I think I'm around, when you look at the entire lawn, I'm about, let's see, I'm about uh, 50 to 60, almost 70% now. And I think, you know, vert cutting it or power raking this area, I can actually make this transition smoother um, you know in my last video of the transition um, I actually started way too early 
and so that's where you saw a lot of the brown and uh, you know lately a lot of these seed companies that are producing the perennial ryegrass have been um, creating a, a, a much more drought tolerant or heat tolerant perennial ryegrass so um, it makes transitioning so much harder I know a lot of the golf courses love using the perennial ryegrass it's to help keep their uh, the golfers you know on on the golf courses uh, longer it's it's more money for them so for me I typically like to transition naturally I know a lot of the guys on YouTube or when you go through these different forums they like to uh, spray the ryegrass out I'm not really into uh, spraying too much chemicals out onto the lawn unless I have to I think there's things like uh, Revolver, Monument, um, I'm trying to think, but all those herbicides that do stop the uh, cool season uh, lawns, um, they can get pretty pricey. All right, guys. So if you guys have been following me on uh, other uh, forms of um, social media like Instagram or Facebook, this is the notorious um, Italian cypresses you see. They're about uh, my daughter's age. Um, she's going to be 11. Uh, we planted those uh, when my wife was pregnant with her. And like I said, she, they're 11 years old. And I'll show you how tall they really are. Uh, like I said, I'm 5'7". And over the 11 years, By the way, that's palm tree there. I love putting that in a lot of my shots. I think that just kind of signifies that you can actually grow just about anything here in the desert. All right, guys, we're actually in the front yard now. Um, this is actually a part of my uh, uh, lawn here where uh, it faces north and gets a lot of sun. I've had problems with actually the Bermuda actually creeping up to that side right here I, and I always struggle to, uh, to get any grass back there so this past fall I overseeded some uh, perennial ryegrass um, and uh, Scott's Thermal Blue um, what that is uh, is a uh, tall fescue Kentucky bluegrass mix my intention was to actually um, keep this uh, perennial or uh, this northern mix um, longer so I can actually uh, provide some content uh, for you guys uh, that have a cool season turf. As we pan over here to the right, um, this is the other part of the lawn here. Uh, the cool season grass is actually starting to check out there. So my plan was to try to keep it as long as possible. I've brought the height of cut from an inch and a quarter up to two and then I might actually have to bring it up a little bit higher if I want to keep that area going. You know, a majority of uh, Arizonians um, actually have uh, lawn professionals take care of their, uh, their yards. I only have a few uh, neighbors that actually do have uh, real grass here. Uh, the neighbor to the left, uh, that's artificial. They're actually real, artificial, and St. Augustine. And finally, rocks. Hey, real quick, I want to personally thank everybody who's uh, subscribed to me. When I first started, I didn't realize how many people enjoy uh, watching lawn, uh, lawn care videos, uh, just like myself. Um, I wasn't really intending to keep this channel for a long time. It all stemmed from my uh, review of the uh, Echo RB60 uh, spreader. It's one of the first videos that I've done um, and uh, I want to ask you guys um, what content do you want to know? Uh, 
what uh, questions do you have for me in, in regards to, um, you know, your lawn care? You know, do you, uh, are you guys uh, uh, cool season? Are you warm season, uh, folks? Make sure to comment below what do you want to uh, see more in the channel. I'd like to thank you guys once again. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.